again. Welcome to the next installment of the Cactus Flats Highway 18 area. Well, I'm at the lip of that ridge I pointed at earlier. Now, get a great view of Silver Peak. Peak I hiked last January. It was actually, it was a pretty tough one too, I ain't gonna lie. Because uh, I think the I think the main route to get up there goes up that way. Because I remember coming down roughly around there somewhere. Either there or that one. One of these two gully folds I remember going down that had that little cable that run, ran along the slope. <laughs> and that was the, uh, the Sierra Club 100 Peaks section. Uh, that was their uh, route. What I ended up doing is not finding it. Should have gone up that way, but I ended up going up this one here. I know when I pointed out what gully I climbed on that day, January 27th last year, I think I might have mistaken it for one of the ones over there, but that's the gully I climbed up. That is really steep. That was hard. I went up that way, up that slope right there to that little shelf, and then I kind of made a roundabout way, met up with the dirt road, and got to the summit. That was tough. That was loose, slippery. Coming up this was not that bad. Basically class one with a couple of uh, rocks to hop over. Nothing really insane. But I'm here at this little lip right here and insanely gorgeous up here. You've got junipers up here again. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, we got Joshua trees. I'm trying to estimate what elevation we are. We're above 6,000 feet still. There might have been a point where I might have dipped slightly below it, but I'm not even sure. But I'm probably about 6,200 feet, maybe, roughly. That's kind of a guess, but I am definitely above 6,000. And I'm climbing up. I'm going to go start scrambling up these boulders here. Now let's see if I can get around without having to bushwhack through a dead pinion or jab myself on yuccas, these beautiful Joshua trees up here. Which I failed miserably. Sorry guy, sorry buddy. Woo! Jab myself on that one. Woo. Joshua trees, they hurt. If you touch the tips, they hurt. I'm pretty sure I got a little specks of blood under there now. Oh. All right. Feels great to get out here. Feels great to be up in the mountains. Like I said, I'm not doing any extreme adventures, but oh, there's another thing you got to watch out for. It's ticks. Sorry guys, but not today, buddies found a few ticks. Forgot. This is the time of year for them. I just uh, found There's my third tick right here. Whoa, it fell off. So, springtime is tick time. I'm trying to see if I can show you what they look like. But they're, they're arachnids. They're eight-legged. And they're kind of small. But yeah, I just had a a few was a few ticks. Whew. Boy, my shin definitely took a jab from that. Uh, Joshua tree. Whew. Whee. Okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to be doing frequent tick checks throughout the rest of this hike. Completely forgot about that when I was scrambling up. Forgot to check for them, and I had four or five of them crawling up my pant legs. All right, do not want to get jabbed there, buddy. So this is the time of year when they're out. So if you do any bushwhacking, which I've done very little of, but done some wading through some shrubs, you're gonna want to tick. All right, I think the summit's over there summit of this random peak. See some, I think I see some higher terrain over there. But 
It's actually quite easy to get up here. Mostly class one, believe it or not. So looking at it from the other side, if I came up from that way, it'd be a different story. But I made it up class one. Now I'm not sure. This might be just tree branches over there. Here's a peak right here, or summit. Let me get on, get over here and try to get a good visual. I think, nah, I think I see some higher rocks over there. So this will be a false summit here. Oh, this north facing slope is beautiful. Replete with beautiful single leaf pinions. Another tall, you. Another thick Utah juniper over here, too. But yeah, I see some scrambling rocks up ahead that'll mark a higher point along the ridge, which is what I'm trying to get to the high point on this adventure. I think that's the summit over there. Now let's see. gorgeous. It's a little higher than that, I believe. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be one of those summits where I look at one, look at summit A, go up to summit A, look at summit B. Summit B is higher, or it looks higher. Then I go back to summit, then I go, I can't even speak correctly. I go to summit A, summit B looks higher. Then I go to summit B, and summit A looks higher. So, I'm wondering if this is going to be one of those situations. But it doesn't look like it, at least as far as that little knob right there is concerned. Wow. It's insanely beautiful up here. Now, I guess uh, I tried to look for a slightly less brushy approach. I have to have my eyes looking on my pants a lot and if I bushwhack on my shirt and arms I'll tell you one thing off trail hiking is fun if you're prepared by studying maps and paying extremely close attention to your surroundings cross-country hiking is very fun very fun Very, very fun, actually. I wonder, I wonder if this is peak 6338. There was a peak that was 6,338 feet. I wonder if this is it. I don't know. I know there was a peak that was 6,338 feet. Looks like the summit rocks are just over there. easy getting up here kind of the way I did I mean I could have done a class 2 and class 3 scramble directly up the south slope of this ridge but sometimes it's good to challenge yourself sometimes you just want to get up nice mellow way this is it oh yeah this is the high point Whoop watch your footing all right well, here are the summit rocks yeah I look higher up than peak 63 yeah 6323 over there all right one last scramble to the top quick little class two walk and I'm here all right, that's the summit. Way down there, I was at earlier with a little class three scramble on top. So now, I'm up here. This has gotta be about 6,300. It's gotta be about 6,300 feet here. This might be peak 6338. Like I said, I'm going to look it up, and I'll post post what it is. 
but I don't know if this is on Peak Bagger, but I think it's on the, t this might be on the topo maps, if this is 6338. This might be on the topo maps, but don't quote me. Definitely going to look it up and see, but it is gorgeous up here. You get some insane views. Look over towards Highway 18, making his way back towards Big Bear, the Lucerne Valley down there. You got the Gold Mountain High Country over that way. Onyx Peak over there. That's looking over towards the Sugarloaf area over there. That might be Sugarloaf. I don't know. That might be Peak 9775. Don't quote me on that. I don't see enough of the ridge to really be able to tell. But then you got this old, got these old canyons and rugged hills. So that's just got to be about, probably, got to be about 6,300 feet here in elevation. It's beautiful up here too. We got a rock golden bush here, Erica Mary Cuneata. What variety that is, I'm not too sure. They do have multiple varieties. Um, this one's the, this is Erica Mary Cuneata. Whoa. <laughs> Stupid me. <laughs> variety Cuneata has more of a greener leaf. This has a little bit lighter color, probably because of the even drier nature of this arid spot here. But beautiful up here. Highly recommend taking some of these cross country adventures because sometimes you get tired of being crowded on trails, on certain trails that are really crowded. Sometimes these off trail hikes really get you some gets you to some really nice spots. Again, I'm up here just enjoying the peace and solitude and the beautiful spring air. It's probably in the 50s right now. The sun's very, sun's warm, but the breeze makes it feel like it's probably in the mid 50s maybe. Might get up to the, might get up to the 60s today, but it's probably after 12 o'clock by now because I didn't leave my house till around 10 in the morning. It's probably after, it's probably about 1 o'clock by now. And that's just a guess. But there it is, Highway 18. Then we got Rouse Ranch Road. And again, if you take Rouse Ranch Road to the base of this ridge, it'll take you up to peak 6323, I believe. I don't, th yeah, I think that's it. And then that peak right there, I think is 6300 plus. When you hear uh, plus at the end of an elevation, that means it's approximate. It's inside of a elevation contour, usually a 40 feet. Usually. But I named it 6300 plus because it's about maybe a couple feet higher than 6300. I'm not using topographic lines for that. But usually when you hear a peak's elevation being like 6480 plus, it's between 6480 and 6520, usually, in elevation. But really cool peak up here. Do get a, you do get a nice.